There she is. Lego City. Hey everybody, Briquette here showing how to unlock all 23 characters in Lego City Undercover. There's a blue color swapper behind here for the climbing wall back there. We need the firefighter disguised for it, but that's for later on in the game. We can get the Grubby Grubster character token right here over the police station. Grubby Grubster is in the criminals category and costs 10,000 studs. These are all characters that are not from special assignments or city challenges. On the map you can see how many you already unlocked out of the total in that district. You can get the security guard character token behind the police station in this little booth. The security guard is in the police category, of course, and costs 20,000 studs. Someone stole the fire department's boat! <laughs> the next character is Butch Patterson, Police, by the Cherry Tree Hills Ferry. I got this one on the switch. Butch Patterson in the police category costs 20,000 studs. You can get all 23 characters in Cherry Tree Hills if you have at least the construction worker, which you get in Chapter 12. Only one character requires a construction worker, though. We can get the ice skater by building this wishing fountain super build, which costs 15,000 bricks. The ice skater is a special two in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. Characters in the special categories have real life Lego minifigures of them. <laughs> it's better to wait until you finish the story and get the brick doubler, but you can get a small super brick if you track this as the police over to that box. The next character is the street racer that you get by building five bubblegum machines from pieces inside these boxes. We're going to need some dynamite to get the last bubblegum machine. Here's a dynamite vending machine in case you don't have the unlimited dynamite red brick. You can get the unlimited dynamite red brick in Special Assignment 3 after you get the farmer disguise which you get in Chapter 9. <laughs> I'll buy a gumball. Just one more day until my holiday. <laughs> Hello there. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. Here's the fourth one. The unlimited dynamite red brick makes two of these characters easier to get. You can see how to get that red brick in my 5 most useful collectibles video which I'll link in the description. I need another holiday. I am Plum Tucker. Robbing the museum? That is so boring. I can't wait to start my new job at the fire department next week. Yeah! I should be spending my day off doing something more constructive. Yeah! Yeah! 
The street racer is a resident in the civilian category and costs 5,000 studs. The next character token is for Louise Andrew, which is on the tracks up here. When I first tried this and missed, I thought I needed the jetpack, but I didn't. It probably would have been easier with the jetpack though. Louise Andrew is a resident in the civilians category and costs 2,000 studs. Now I'm going to get Troublemaker Phil. I'll need a green color swapper for the trees. There's one of the trees. There's a green color swapper behind the next building, in case you don't have the super color gun red brick yet. There's a link in the description to my video of the 5 most useful collectibles that shows how to get the super color gun red brick. You can either aim and shoot, or just shoot from the hip. <laughs> yeah. Troublemaker Phil is a farmer and costs 3,000 studs. Now I'm going to get train driver Bill in a safe over the train station. Hey, what's up? I have no idea why I didn't get that job at the library. I'm so hungry. Why didn't I eat breakfast? Hi there! <laughs> Hit the right button when the red thing turns green or when you see the prompt. It says it's locked until you buy the first one. Train driver Bill is in the service category in civilians and costs 2,000 studs. Just one more day until my holiday. Now I'm going to get the taxi driver also in the service category. I wish I could afford to take taxis everywhere instead of walking. Shots at my It's a lot easier if you have the jetpack. The taxi driver is in the service category in civilians and costs 2,000 studs. Next up is the Demolition Dummy, a special one character that we get from building this disguise booth. The Demolition Dummy is a special one in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. Now I'm going to get Shaky Harry, police. You can see him in the window over here. This is much quicker with the jetpack.
sometimes I would go right through this pipe. <laughs> Here's a small super brick I thought I'd grab on the way. Shaky Harry, like Clint Eastwood's Dirty Harry. Shaky Harry and the police category cost 100,000 studs. We're back up here again for Clown Robber Lou, a criminal. Of course, if you have the jetpack, you can just jet up there. But if not... <laughs> By the way, there's a small super brick behind that door. But if you wait to collect super bricks until after you finish the story, you'll get double the value for all super bricks that you get after that. You can jetpack up here if you have it. There's a pig up there, but you can get Clown Robber Lou first, behind that big round thing. Clown Robber Lou is in the criminals category and costs 10,000 studs. The next character token for George Farter Bensonberry <laughs> needs a red color swapper unless you have the super color gun red brick. You need the astronaut for the red brick. You'll also need the red color gun for the mailboxes that I'll get later in this video. There's a red color swapper on the roof of Jenny's diner. Here's the red color swapper on the map. And here's where we get George Farter Bensonberry. Great name, huh? George is a resident. We can get a large super brick with this. It's worth 10,000 bricks. 20,000 if you have the brick doubler, which you get after finishing the story. This is why we needed the red color swapper. We'll need it again for the mailman. I did the green one first, so I didn't have to go to the red color swapper twice. Yeah! Oh boy. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late. We can go either way, left or right, to get up there. If I had the jetpack, I could recover from this flaw, but I don't in this game, so I'll have to start over. George Farter Bensonberry is a resident in Civilians and costs 3,000 studs. Oh, almost forgot about my super brick. Actually, I could just let it sit there until I get the brick doubler, but oh well. Okay, now for Dave something over the bank.
Dave something is a resident and costs 2,000 studs. Wow, he's cheap. Well, he does have a generic name. We're going back up here again, this time for the tennis player and the baseball player. You can jetpack over either side of this backyard to unlock the free run. You can get up here with the jetpack, but you'll have to go all the way around when you do the free run to get one of the clocks. The clocks give you more time, but also you have to collect them all to finish the free run and get the baseball player character token. The tennis player is back here, and we'll need the construction worker disguise, which we get in Chapter 12 of the story. The tennis player is a special one character and costs 10,000 studs. Here's where we unlock the free run in Cherry Tree Hills for the baseball player character token. Just go back to that building across from the police station to start the free run. A good way to get off this building is to do this vehicle robber arrest for the Grassman lawnmower if you have the construction worker disguise. Or you can go back this way. So you go back here to do the free run and collect all the clocks. Here's the end of the free run. baseball player. The baseball player is a special one in civilians and costs 10,000 studs. Now for the rapper. We're going to need some dynamite. And there's a dynamite vending machine right across the street. We have to switch to the miner to use it. Don't forget to pick it up. <laughs> you can get the unlimited dynamite red brick in Special Assignment 3 after you get the farmer disguise, which you get in Chapter 9. I know I already said that earlier in this video, but I'm saying it again just in case you didn't see that part of the video. That wall always gets me. The wrapper is a special one in civilians and costs 10,000 studs. Oh no, he's gonna fall! <laughs> 
Here's where one of three dog houses are for the werewolf and also one of three mailboxes for the mailman character token. There's the mailbox, which I'll get later. And here's the first doghouse for the werewolf character token. Another doghouse is over here. There's the second dog house. And there's the third dog house. Notice that the token is behind this blue house next to a slope. It's right there. That super build needs a lot of bricks. You could go up this driveway, but I went around. Though. <laughs> The werewolf is a special two in civilians and costs 10,000 studs. What's shaking? <laughs> the hillside house super build for Sleepyhead is right up the street. Ooh, I could use that super build. Those things are awesome. It needs 30,000 bricks. Sleepy Head is a special two in civilians and costs 10,000 studs. <laughs> the TV recorder character token needs four satellite dishes built. There's one satellite dish on top of this house. I hit the right button to get down. There's the second satellite. If you have the jetpack, you can jet over this wall. But I have to use the firefighter disguise here. I 
I love the sound of those studs. Third satellite. Another large super brick. You'll want to make sure you jump off towards the right so you don't miss the roof below. <laughs> and there's the token for the TV reporter right in the middle of the duck pond. TV reporter is in the service category in civilians and costs 3,000 studs. Here's where one of three mailboxes for the mailman character token is. Remember this? It's by the first doghouse over there. business. Here's the second mailbox. Here's where the third and last mailbox is. Here's the third and last mailbox for the mailman character token. It's on top of the building behind the billboard that we smash into after the free run. The mailman is in the service category in civilians and costs 2,000 studs. This is a chicken glide for a large super brick, which I won't do right now. We can get the detective character token up this hill by the stunt ramp. Sorry, it's an emergency! Like I said, I'm a real careful driver. <laughs> you might not have built the stunt ramp, but the blue stuff for the police should be there. Hit the right button. The detective is in the police category and costs 10,000 studs. Now for the Anchorman character token where we can also conquer the Cherry Tree Hills district. Here's a dynamite vending machine for the silver statue at the top of the stairs where we're going next. If you want me to do the rest of the characters in each district, please let me know in the comments. I 
I like to get a running start for these chicken glides. That started a timer to press all the buttons, which activates the fan so we can get Anchorman in the service category. And we might as well conquer the district of Cherry Tree Hills while we're at it. The Anchorman is in the service category in Civilians and costs 3,000 studs. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, which I really appreciate, and subscribe to see when I upload new videos. See you next time!